Hey, honey. Sweetie, your computer keeps beeping at me. Yeah, those are probably Facebook notifications. About Winslot's changing the rules again. Ah, I'm gonna be working late tonight. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Good lord, I can't go a week without having to make another video about this game. Hey, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So, you've heard right. Steven from Not Leaving Las Vegas was right. The Win Slots app has moved the goalposts yet again. So, here are a few new rules to consider when playing the Win Slots app. So, as you guys know, VIP points have become a central component in getting comps in the Win Slots app. And it used to be you could get VIP points by doing one of three things. Number one, by collecting your multi-hourly credit bonuses. Number two, by successfully completing and redeeming all scratchers in the scratcher quests. Or number three, making an in-app purchase. It usually takes a certain amount of VIP points to get to certain levels. Level one requires 2,500 points. Level two requires 10,000. Level three requires 20,000. Level 4 requires 40,000, and the big level 5 requires 75,000 big ones. You'll want to have a look at the How to Play Win Slots 2020 video elsewhere on my channel. I'll put a link to it in the comments section down below. So, now that you know how many VIP points you need to reach each level, how do you get them? Well, what I said at the start of the video is true. You get VIP from gameplay, bonus collections, and purchases. But how many VIP you earned has changed significantly. It used to be that for purchases you earn 1 VIP for every US penny you spent, or 100 VIP for every US dollar if that makes the conversion a little simpler for our overseas fans. That's still true. Every US dollar you spend is worth 100 VIP and that's not an issue. The real issue is how many VIP you get for playing the game as normal. It used to be that the game would tier how many VIP points you got based on your VIP level and the event. Now, they're all the same across the board. Bonuses are the most affected. For every gold chest you collect, you earn one VIP. And for every 12 hour bonus wheel you collect, you also earn one VIP. Yikes, pretty rough, right? Well, let's start talking about the gameplay. Maybe when Slots is attempting to reward skill over collection. Well, if you're skillful enough to complete a Gold Scratcher event, you'll be rewarded with two VIP points. And if you're really skillful and lucky, and you can pull off a Platinum, then you'll earn eight VIPs for your trouble. Sadly, it gets worse. So doing the math, it appears as if the very best way to earn your VIPs is through purchases. But how many purchases do you need to make? You may ask, surely Ace, we must still be able to make a dent in our VIPs with gameplay, right? And, well, you're not wrong. You can still earn thousands of VIP through gameplay. So if we consider that there are 8 gold chests you can earn in a day, 2 bonus wheels you can earn, 5 gold scratcher events you can complete, and a single platinum scratcher event as well, then we're looking at a total of 28 potential VIP points per day. This is, once again, assuming you only eat, sleep, and breathe win slots 24 hours a day and time every collection perfectly. But Ace! What if I have a job, or a family, or any desire to get any amount of sleep? Well, I say, tough slag for you, buddy, because that's the upper limit. If you guys want a modification of my signature winning formula, then here's what it looks like. Meaning that if you use a win slots play strategy that actually affords you a few hours of sleep, it's going to yield you about 22 VIPs per day. Multiply that out by the 90 day requirement, and you get yourself a cool 1980 VIPs, or the equivalent of $19.80 American for your time. Again, if you go nuts and deprive yourself of sleep every day, you can earn 2,500 VIPs in 90 days. Sure, that'll quite literally kill you, but at least you'll get your VIP level 1 status for free, right? So needless to say, if your intention is to stay a free-to-play player, win slots has run its course. Uninstall the game, start up on My Vegas, Four Queens, or Binions instead, and save yourself the headache. But what if you're down to play? What's it going to cost you to get that free room at this point? And yes, I said free room in quotations. Well, here's the other kicker. The VIP benefits have changed as well. Instead of being able to book a room at VIP 2, you're forced to level up to VIP level 3. Meaning VIP 1 and 2 are only good for buffets at this point. Now the funny thing is, VIP level 3 and above still maintains the discount program. Meaning you'll get 15% off the gem cost for room bookings at level 3, 20% at level 4, and 25% at level 5. 
So, depending on your gameplay, you'll have to supplement your gameplay VIPs with purchase VIPs. For example, if you play like I do and use the winning formula, then you'll only be 520 VIPs short of level 1. A purchase of $6 is more than sufficient. If you want to achieve or maintain level 2, then you'll be looking at a bigger purchase. One of about $81, since you'll be 8,020 VIP short. Level 3 VIP will cost you $181 or so to make up the 18,020 VIP points. A level 4 purchase of 38,020 VIP will cost you upwards of $380. And of course, the big level 5 will run you over 730 to make up with those purchases. So at this point, for the measly savings you're getting by playing events and doing collections, it's probably very clear to you all at this point that it's not worth centering your gameplay strategy around the VIPs, meaning that win slots coins are now the most important resource to manage in order to get win slots gems and ultimately to book once you've purchased your VIPs. So that brings us to the next question. What's the best purchase to make to maximize your win slots coins and make your gameplay easier? Well, purchases come in four flavors. Number one is straight from the store. They're usually the most consistent price-wise. Number two is through the multiplier options in the bonus section. Number three is through the piggy bank that builds up via gameplay. And number four is the promotional packages offered after loading the app. Now, the value is the real question here, which allows me to play the longest. Well, straight off, let's check the store. On the low end, you can get 2 million chips for $3, meaning they value a US dollar at 666,666 chips and some change. But on the higher end, we're looking at 300 million for 100 US dollars, meaning at best, purchasing from the store is worth 3 million chips per dollar. Not too bad, but we can do better. Next, let's look at the promotions. Now these wildly vary depending on the promotion, your level, purchase price, etc. But assuming you're going for rooms, you'll probably spend the $100. In this specific example that we have on the screen, $100 US will net you 600 million chips, or 6 million chips per US dollar. Sometimes they include other promotions like an additional bonus wheel spin or a multiplier package, but let's ignore all that for now and call it 6 million per US dollar. The piggy bank's very best value is 100 million chips for a mere $5, for a whopping 20 million chips per dollar spent. That's a killer value. But keep in mind, that's only when the piggy bank is full. You'll have to refill it via gameplay and hyper bonuses don't count towards that. If you can consistently fill your piggy bank, it's worth continuously breaking over time. $100 worth of maxed out piggy banks will net you about 2 billion chips in the long run. And then that leaves us with multipliers. Now, coming up with a value for the multipliers was difficult. That's because every bonus is a gamble, meaning that each gold, silver, and wheel bonus is worth a different amount. So I had to collect data on this for about the course of a week and finally came up with an average for each bonus. Gold chests averaged around 98,000 credits, silvers were worth about 23,000, and the bonus wheel was actually pretty easy. I found the mean value by adding all possible values together then dividing it by eight. So from a purely mathematical standpoint, the average for a bonus wheel is around 412,500 chips. More assumptions to be made here. Assuming we spend about 12 hours a day collecting chips merely checking in once an hour, we'll collect 13 silver chests, one at the very start of the session and one at the very end of the session, accounting for numbers 1 and 13, we checked. We get 5 gold chests and 2 bonus wheels, meaning if we only get about the average, then on an average day, we can expect to collect 1,614,000 chips from the bonus section alone. Again, this is a very conservative estimate, assuming that we're only collecting for about 12 hours a day and only popping in once an hour to get those collections. You can, of course, collect longer and more frequently, so use the formula on the screen to calculate your own bounties. The best multiplier you can get is, of course, the 100 times multiplier for 100 US dollars meaning that on a daily basis, we can expect to collect 161,400,000 win slots chips by using the maximum multiplier. Then multiplying that further by the five days that the multiplier lasts, we'll expect to collect 807 million chips. That's worth about 8 million chips per US dollar spent if you remember to use it. So here's the ranking for value. Piggy banks, then multipliers, then promotions, and finally just plain old store purchases. Note that the number of VIPs is based around the purchase price and not how many chips you actually get, so always shoot for the higher end purchase if you can to maximize your gameplay resources and results. Now that you have all your credits and VIPs, it's time to max them out. The strongest and fastest way to do this is to maximize hyper bonuses. 
Even with all the changes, Hongbao Hyper Bonus appears to be the most consistent in my experience. You'll be making big bets and getting big paybacks. The swings are volatile, but most times you'll end up on top. Your goal is now to make sure that you get 25,000 gems, as that's the max you can carry, as quickly as possible. Okay, time to address the win cat in the room. Is it still worth it to play win slots? Well, the answer may surprise you. Admittedly, it might still be worth it. Now, if you're trying to leverage as much free stuff as you can, it's probably going to be rough. But as a discount program, there are benefits. Now, here are a couple little constants that we have to note as we do even more math. The price of the buffets are fixed at 1200 gems. Also, room rates vary depending on the cash price. For the sake of this video, we have to assume an average gem rate of about 4,000 gems per room. Okay, let's do this. So, at level 1 VIP, we're looking at a maximum of 2 buffets per month for 2,400 gems. The average price of a dinner buffet at the win is about $50. Buying your way to level 1 VIP will cost you about $25, and if you're playing your way there with 2,000 VIPs, this will cut the cost down to $5. So for your valiant efforts, you get $100 worth of buffets for $5 which is about a 95% savings on a single trip where you get to use two buffets. VIP 2 is going to allow you to book up to four buffets in a month. 10,000 VIPs is the equivalent to $100 in cash, and about 80 if you play your heart out to earn those VIPs in the game as well, meaning for $80 you can get about $200 worth of buffets for a 60% savings. VIP level 3 is where it gets interesting. I say that because that's when you get your ability to book rooms. A nice thing about win slots is that the gem rates are based on the cash price of the room, about a dollar per 10 gems. So a 4,000 gem room is worth about $400 in cash. Assuming we're getting a mix of weekday and weekend rooms, this is pretty reasonable for a 5 star property. Meaning if we max out on the room booking of 4 nights, we'll spend about 16,000 gems as a base. But don't forget, we get 15% off of those gems. So 16,000 gems worth of rooms should only cost 13,600 gems leaving us with just enough gems to collect about 9 buffets. We can only redeem 6 of them that month though, so 7200 gems nets us another 6 buffets. Meaning for the price of 20,800 gems, we get a full stay at the win. Now to get to VIP level 3, depending on how well you play or how well you choose not to play, it'll cost you around $180 on the low end and $200 on the high end. Assuming the low end at $180, you'll get $1,900 worth of free rooms and buffets. Factor in the four nights of resort fees, assuming you don't use the resort amenities, and you're at a total of $2,100 for a total of $180, meaning you've saved 91% off of your trip. VIP 4 is about the same, only with a 20% savings and 8 buffets. If you're not sick of the win buffet, that's $400 in buffets and $1,600 in rooms, plus the resort fee of $200 meaning we have $2,200 worth of product. To get to level 4, you'll need $380 to $400 in spend, meaning that for $380, assuming you're on your grind, you can save 82% on your trip. And of course, level 5. Booking those same 4 rooms with a 25% gem discount should leave you with just enough gems to swoop up all 10 buffets you're allotted over the course of 4 nights. So, $500 in buffets, $1,600 in rooms, and $200 in resort fees for a total of $2,300. $730 spent if you're dedicated to earning the free VIPs, $750 if you don't give a damn about those 1 VIP gold chests anymore. So, on the lower end, we're looking at a 68% savings. So, there you have it. It's still economically viable to plan a single trip with win slots thus far. Keep in mind, the figures I've offered here are based on you taking a single trip. Remember, when you achieve a VIP level, you get to keep the benefits for 90 days. And these all max out at once a month. So if you somehow aren't tired of the win in Vegas, you can go once a month, assuming you have enough gems, and triple your savings. <sighs> okay, no more math-heavy videos for a while. This was time-consuming. That all being said, is it still worth it to play win slots? Yes, but only at VIP 1 and VIP 3. VIP 1 is pretty reasonable and it's a nice way to spice up a trip that you'd probably otherwise supplement with my Vegas slots or 4 queens. And VIP 3 makes a $2,000 plus trip, about the same cost as the resort fees with 4 comped M life rooms, and they kick you the buffets for free. VIP 4 and VIP 5 might be okay if you're looking to go to Vegas multiple times in a 3 month period. Which is a little much for me, but it might be okay for some of my spinners and sharks out there. And VIP 2 is completely worthless. Just buy a Groupon, you'll only save about 10% more with the game really. 
Well, that's quite literally all the time we have for today's video. If you enjoyed today's content and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Admittedly, I'm a little turned off by win slots right now, and it's not because of all the math I've had to do, at least not entirely. Now that the formula has changed, I feel like a lot of the challenge is gone. Hopefully, the win slots app can add a few new rewards in or loosen up the VIP requirements to make the gameplay feel a little more worth it. Because as it stands right now, this video is probably gonna be my last foray into the win slots app for quite some time. So, until next time, my spinners and sharks, this is Ace of Vegas, signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and, of course, happy spinning, you guys.